Grayson. Um, I'm, I work in Toronto, uh, and the films I won the Teddy with were Urinal in 1989. It was a co-win with another film. Then in 91, The Making of Monsters, a short drama. And then in 2009, a, 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 a feature documentary opera, Fig Trees. So, birthday wishes for Ted. Happy birthday, Teddy. Uh, delighted that you're 30. Keep young forever and keep radical. Welcome, John. How are you doing? Hey. I'm great. Good morning, Teddy. <laughs> um, so, you actually won several Teddy Awards, and um, that, therefore it's a bit difficult to ask, but what was the, the specific situation when you won the Teddy Awards? in the society in which you were at that point? Because you, you're actually from Canada, if I'm right, but you shot one movie in South Africa about HIV and AIDS there. Um, so yeah, so, so what were the situations in which you were shooting the movies? Well, um, for the first film that I won a Teddy for in 1989, Urinal, it was an unforgettable moment because it was in the bookstore. So this was when the Teddies were still a very small event held in the gay bookstore. And so the gathering of, you know, the, the handful of queer filmmakers at midnight and then the awarding of the, the award was unforgettable and, and life-changing. That was a particular film about, very relevant today, about the gay community and the police, uh, looking at the policing of public sex. Um, in parks and washrooms in the Canadian context, but then expanding that out to a broader world context, uh, trying to theorize why why the police harass, continue to harass gays. And so um, it was very exciting to see an experimental half documentary, half feature uh, get recognized in this in this way. I I previously spent a decade making video art. Um, but had never had any sort of audience bigger than 50. And so to arrive in Berlin and show in one of your beautiful theaters in Berlin, and then on top of it, when the Teddy was extraordinary, it was a huge leap forward for me and my work. Mm -hmm. So how would you describe the impact that it also had on your artistic life to win the award? The, the winning of that first Teddy was huge because it, up until then, I was known as a video artist, and I showed in small art galleries. And then when this feature was made and won a Teddy, suddenly I was, the world could see me as a, as a filmmaker. And though it was still a crazy, eccentric, video arty uh, feature called Urinal, um, nevertheless, there was recognition, and it made possible new works. I was able to go on and do my next feature, uh, Zero Patients. Um, so both for critical acclaim, but also for funding, it was, it was crucial. Mm -hmm. And if we now have a look at uh, Fig Tree, the movie from 2009, for which you also won the Teddy Award, which deals with, uh, with the situation of HIV and AIDS in South Africa. How, how was that? I mean, how was the situation in South Africa at that moment when you were shooting the movie? Well, um, Fig Trees is a opera documentary, so that immediately tells you it's something different. It was trying to use both the form of opera and the form of documentary to pay tribute to the amazing AIDS activism of Zaki Ahmed in Cape Town and the work of South African activists to get pills in the people's bodies. It was a, it was a film which was, um, again, very experimental, like urinal, like much of my work. Um, but trying to address a very serious political issue as an activist. And so to, again, see it recognized, see it reach an audience in Berlin, a big audience in Berlin, but then go on to reach to get a Teddy Award was extraordinary because, again, we thought, oh, this film, it's too activist for people, it's too experimental for people, but then it was really acclaimed by the Teddies, and then from there it went on to many other festivals and big audiences. Mm -hmm. And if you look back now, how did winning the Teddy Award change the situation? What kind of impact did it have on the situation of the oppression by the police in Canada or the situation for HIV positive people in South Africa? Did you see a change? Well, of course, after, 
after I made urinal, all the problems with the plague in Canada were solved. And then, yeah, of course, in South Africa, we now have full treatment drugs for AIDS because of my film Fig Trees. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> do films do films make a difference? These films are part of a movement, or, or part of movements. So my film was part of many uh, movements fighting for uh, treatment drugs around the world, part of the global fight around AIDS. My film with Urinal was a fight around the police um, and fighting police violence. And so I, I hope it has some relevance today when we're all again fight, trying to fight police violence from our different, our different perspectives. Well, if you now look back at and 30 years of Teddy Awards, of Queer Film Awards. What is something you would wish for for the future, for the Teddies, but also for Queer Film Awards in general? I think the, the Teddies have a track record of, of recognizing marginal voices, new voices, uh, voices from around the world. And I think that's the mandate that has to continue. It's, it's easy for awards, especially when they hit 30, and you're becoming, Teddy, I'm worried you're becoming a bit middle-aged and maybe conservative. And of course, it's not, it's the opposite is what, what can and should happen. And I'm, I'm confident, Teddy, you will continue to be radical and recognize the, the marginal voices and the rich new voices, the diverse voices that are, are coming up today in the new generation.